Hi, my name is Lim Zhen Wei, and we are all from Group 4. Today, we are going to present about heat radiation for the topic of Engineering Thermodynamics Lab. This experiment investigates two theoretical problems in thermodynamics. The aim is to show that the intensity of radiation varies as the fourth power of the source temperature, as stated in Stephen Bosman's law, and to demonstrate that the exchange of radiant energy from one surface to another is dependent upon their interconnecting geometry. Sotec Radiant Heat Transfer Unit, model HE155, was used to conduct this experiment. From our experiment, our analysis shows that the intensity of radiations and exchange of energy have a strong correlation with the source temperature and the interconnecting geometry respectively. From this experiment, we can conclude that higher source temperature will increase the intensity of radiations. Besides that, we also can say that the longer the distance will decrease the exchange of energy. For the introduction, there are actually three models of heat transfer, which are conduction, convection, and radiation. Radiation is the transfer of energy from one system to another due to the temperature difference. Thermal radiation is the electromagnetic radiation produced by a body as a result of its temperature. Both bodies emit and absorb electromagnetic radiation from their surrounding. The rates of emissions and absorptions are equal when thermal equilibrium is achieved. Thermal radiation has a range of wavelength, ranging from the longest infrared rays to the shortest ultraviolet rays. Electromagnetic waves or photons transport the energy of radiations. Solids, liquids, and gases can all emit thermal radiations. It is also the quick, quickest heat transfer mode since it happened at the speed of light. Radiation does not involve the presence of a material medium, as it does for the conduction and convection. The meaning of this is that in a vacuum, radiation is the only way for heat to be transmitted. There are two objectives for our experiment. The first one is to study the effect of distance of heat source and radiometer and the reading of radiometer. The second one is to study the relationship of aperture opening and the radiometer reading. For the literature review, the stephens bosman law, also known as Stephen's law, states that the total energy radiated per unit surface area of a black body in unit time is directly proportional to the fourth power of the black body's thermodynamic temperature, also called it as absolute temperature. Mathematically, Stephen Boltzmann's law can be written as QB equals to sigma TS power 4 minus TA power 4. For the area factor, the heat transfer rate from one radiating black surface to another is dependent on the amount that each surface can see of the other surface. In order to solve radiant heat transfer problem, an area factor F is introduced where F is defined by the fraction of energy emitted per unit time by one surface that is intercepted by the other surface. Thus, the time rate of radiant heat transfer between two black surfaces of area A1 and A2 at temperature T1 and T2 respectively is given by the formula below, which is Q12 equals to A1 times F12 times sigma times T1 power 4 minus T2 power 4. Area factors are found by analysis, numerical approximations, and analogy, and results for common configurations have been published in graphic form. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Mama Hafiz, and today I would like to present about the experiment setup and procedure for the experiment. And for the experiment setup, they have, we have the protein setup for area factor experiment. We have aperture plate and cork, and we will hit the surface in this direction. Next, for the experiment procedure, we have two tests. For test one, is to show that the intensity of radiation varies as the fourth power of the source temperature as stated in Stephen Boltzmann law. And the first procedure is one of the thermocouple of the target plate T1 was connect to the service unit and place on the plate on the bench to record ambient temperature. Next, the radiometer was positioned on the track on the test track at 800 mm from the heat source. 
The selector knob on the heat transfer service unit was selected to read the radiometer measurement. Next, we have the heater temperature was set to 250 degrees Celsius by heater controller. Monitor T4 reading on uh, the heat transfer unit service. When the T4 was stabilized, the radiometer was moved to 300mm from the heat plate. The reading of the radiometer should start to rise. When the value has stabilized, T1, T4, the distance X and the radiometer reading R was recorded. Next, the radiometer was moved to 800mm from the heated plate again. The above procedure will re uh, was repeated with an increment of 50 degrees Celsius from 250 degrees Celsius to 400 degrees Celsius. Lastly, uh, calculate the relationship between the Stefan Boltzmann law and the corrected radiation reading given as the factor of F. <coughs> Next for the test 2, it is to demonstrate that the exchange of radiation energy from one surface to another is dependent upon their interconnecting geometry. And the first procedure is the aperture holder will install at 200mm from the heated surface. Then the radiometer is installed on the track at 800mm from the heated surface. Next, apply 400 degrees Celsius to the heater. Monitor T4 indicator reading on the heat transfer service unit. The T4 was stabilized, the radiometer position was moved to 100mm from the aperture position. The reading of the radiometer should start to rise. Then uh, when the value has stabilized, T4 aperture width and R was recorded. Next, the aperture plate was installed on the aperture holder and adjust the width to the to 5mm. And again, T4 aperture width and R was recorded when the reading has stabilized. Next, uh, the gap was increased with an increment of 5mm increment and the above procedure was repeated. Then, we calculate, calculate the area factor and lastly, area factor against aperture width in millimeter graph was plotted. That's all for me. Thank you. I will proceed uh, with the result. Okay, uh, I will tell about the test one. Result test one. Okay, to show uh, test one to show that the intensity of the radiation varies as the four power the source temperature as the state in the Stephen Boltzmann law. Okay, result for test one. Okay, uh, uh, heat, uh, we have uh, five column. Uh, this one is heater temperature, distance, radiometer reading. T1 and T4. Okay, for the heated temperature, uh, we start with 250 uh, and goes to the 40 for uh, 400. Okay, our distance is the same. Uh, that's uh, 300 millimeter. Okay, uh, after that, uh, for the uh, uh, the meter reading, uh, for the 250, we got the 677. 0.18. Okay, for the 300, we got the 1007. 0.27. Okay, for the 350, we got the 1436. 0.04. Uh, okay, for the last one is uh, 400 temperature, we got the 1981.42. Okay, uh, for the T1, it is the same for the heater temperature and for the last temperature, T4, we got the uh, same to uh, is 18. Hello, uh, my name is Muhammad Kuchra Yair Fadila. So, I will be continuing for the result from test 2. For the test 2, we, uh, we did the demonstration, uh, the exchange of radiant energy from one surface to another which is dependent on their interconnecting geometry so as we can see we have three columns over here the first one for the width the x and the r uh, the width uh, we as mentioned in the procedure we increase with an increment of 5 mm from we begin from 5 until 40 as for the x we remain the constant which is the position for all for the radiometer from the aperture position which is 100mm and for the R the R is the energy emitted by unit area for the black body surface 
so as you can see the result is display on the right of the column uh, the, the result uh, 0 19.17.65 and lastly 154.891 Assalamualaikum and good morning I am Raninku Siti Diana MA18234 from group 4 We will be presenting on the discussion for heat radiation laboratory So for the first question what actually happens during heat radiation process First we need to know what is heat radiation Heat radiation is emitted as a result of energy transition of atoms, molecules and also electrons of a substance. Um, this energy transition um, occurs as a result of the molecules, atoms and also electrons of all gases, liquids and also solids that are above absolute, uh, absolute zero temperature mm, being constantly in motion. Therefore, the radiation is constantly emitted, absorbed and also transmitted throughout the entire volume of matter which we will conclude that it is a volumetric phenomenon however for a solid item the, the process is not a volumetric phenomenon anymore however it is a surface phenomenon because the radiation emitted by the interior regions can never reach the surface and also the radiation incident is usually absorbed within a few microns from the surface. We also need to know that the rate of heat radiation increases with the increase of temperature. The next question is the most significant point that we can deduce from the relationship between Stefan Boltzmann law and also the corrected radiation reading RC. So first we need to know what is Stefan Boltzmann law. So Stefan Boltzmann law gives out that the total back body emissive power EB is the sum of the radiation emitted over all the wavelengths. So to get the EB we need to use the corrected radiation reading RC which is represented as the energy emitted by unit area of a black body surface for a calibrated radiometer. Therefore, when the corrected radiation reading RC increases, the thermodynamic temperature increases too due to the mathematical relation of the Stefan Boltzmann law. The question is to discuss the graph we have plotted. So the graph we have plotted is the area factor versus the aperture opening. So here we can see when the um, aperture opening increases, the area factor also increases as well. Area factor is a crucial data in heat transfer rate as, um, as one radiating black surface is dependent to another. Um, uh, on the amount of each surface can see the other surface. The last question is the factors that will affect the radiation process. So there are there will be four factors. The first is emissivity, second is reflectivity, third is absorptivity and also fourth is transmissivity. So emissivity T is basically it compares the radiation emitted to the surface of at the rate given surface to the radiation emitted by a black body of the same temperature. Basically, it compares with an ideal condition. So the second one is reflectivity. It depends on the direction of the incident radiation and also the incident of reflection. Absorptivity will vary with the temperature of the origin source of incident radiation. 
Also, we need to know that the higher the absorptivity, the lower the temperature will be. Lastly, is the transmissivity. So, the trans the fraction of transmitted will be differing um, with the wavelength. So, when the higher wavelength is given, the lower the incident radiation can go through the material. Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Ariza Miro Sanizam. So for my part, I will I present about the conclusion. So for the conclusion for uh, this experiment, which is uh, radiation, uh, throughout this activity, we can classify all those uh, mode of heat transfer, which is convection, contact conductions and radiations. Radiation differ from the conduction and convection. In in that it does not require the presence of a material medium to take a place but unlike the conductions and convection heat transfer uh, by the radiation can be transferred even uh, the heat source and a uh, body are separated then uh, and then we identify the rate of thermal radiation emission increase with increasing temperature. So this is for the reference. Thank you.